Passengers reacting to flight attendants on board an American Airlines jet after the crew tried to remove a woman before takeoff. The woman said she didn't hear a male flight attendant asking her to take her seat in the crowded aisle until he started yelling at her, threatening to kick her off the plane. Moments later, after she was seated, a female flight attendant came to remove her. By now, the woman was crying. This can't be legal. If you don't come off, I'm going to have to call the officers. That didn't sit well with her fellow passengers. Are you serious? Wow. Well, that's the last time I fought. You just lost a lot of customers. In the end, the woman gave in. American Airlines told the Washington Post they were in contact with the passenger and had apologized. On this U.S. Airways flight, a disabled Vietnam veteran was removed for not putting his Golden Retriever service dog on the floor for takeoff instead of in the seat. I'm legally in the right by ADA law. This is a service animal and he can ride with me any place. And when crew members told him the pilot won't take off? Get the hell away from me. I don't care. Get away from me. Please. The veteran stood and made his case to passengers. But I've earned the right to have this service animal because of my service to this country in Vietnam. So I'm sorry, but I'm not budging. He and his dog were still removed by an officer and rebooked for the next day. Cell phones appear to be a clear trigger for removal. This woman was talking on hers on a Spirit Airlines jet. Give me a line. Stop it! Stop! So was this woman. Oh my God. You have me. This passenger says Spirit kicked her off a flight because of her cleavage. Another passenger backed that up. Two or three times, people came over and said, they're still not covered up enough. She said, well, if you, know, if you give me a blanket, I'll put it across my chest. I can't help it. These are my breasts. The airline said the woman had been drinking, though that same fellow passenger said she wasn't acting drunk or misbehaving. The woman's lawyer told us the case may end up in court. This woman says she was banned from flying, too, because of how she was dressed. The JetBlue passenger was told her outfit was inappropriate. I was told that it's the pilot's final say. So she purchased pajama bottoms to cover up for the trip home to Seattle. I felt very disrespected. In the end, JetBlue offered her a $162 flight credit. But she said she just wants the airline to offer sensitivity training. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.